Hello, I'm Kepa and welcome to my reaction channel. Uh, today I'm going to listen to some Symphony X, a progressive metal band. The bands what I haven't listened so much, but now and then I have these eras of, uh, let's say, timelines, one to three years or something like that. I listen a lot to some band or some album and then I lost it some, <laughs> some reason, I don't know why. I'm just keeping the next one or something like that. And uh, Symphony X is one of those. Uh, it doesn't mean that this band is bad. No, no, no chance about that. It's, uh, it's very good. I, I appreciate it. This this band a lot. Uh, or praise it a lot. I mean, uh, they are very skilled players, and there are two guys in this band which which I look up a lot. And who are these two guys? Well, the first one is Russell Allen, one of the best. Uh, heavy metal rock singers in the world well i have said this uh, many times but uh who is the best or one of the best uh, well if i have to list it 50 best heavy metal singers or 20 uh ross allen is one of those he is very good uh, uh, i liked it it has its own tone and, and it, it sounds so freaking good the next person in this band probably the biggest influences why I have, I have interested this this band is the Michael Romeo who is the guitar player and uh, one of the best stretchers or solo players guitar players in, in past 30 years and in some point of view I, I like to see that he is one of those players who are under the radar of some other guitar players names for example Yingmi Mumsten or Steve Vai or so on uh, but in technical point of view, Romeo is insanely good. And uh, when we are talking about present shredders, I, I like to say he is the one of the best shredders alive. I like to say that uh, he has technical point of view, but he is more than just a technical robot or something like that. He has uh, he owns way to play guitar and brings some kind of soul and tone to the sounds and so on and that's pretty unique thing i like to see that uh, romeo is, is just like uh, michael angelo patio uh, one of the best or oh, not the one of the probably the best shredders in technical point of view he is like a machine i mean he is so freaking good. I, I suggest that you you go into check the videos on the in the internet when when he is playing and so on. He's very nice and so on. This this video, but problem with the videos playing. What I have really noticed that when he is playing with the band or something like that, he try to do something more for the song and the band. He, he's if he is trying to deliver something new for the outcome of the song. Uh, then the body start to struggle. I mean, his lack of the softness or this this skill to bring something more or soul for the, the song structure or playing, it, it, the lack of that will shine through. And uh, when we are comparing Patio for the Michael Romeo, uh, we can see that this is the biggest difference between these. Uh, Michael Romeo can do those technical things. I mean. Go and check. I put the description one of the latest videos what he is playing in these uh, solo albums. This is insanely good, but he is fast doing a lot of this scale thing, and I, I cannot describe even what he is playing. And he's insanely fast, technical, and so on. But still, uh, Michael Romeo can do some serious playing for it that brings the soul what he's uh, playing on the song. And that's a difference, and and that's this one of the reason why I like to say that Michael Romeo is is the one of the best, or he is on the top of the let's say three or five shredders in the world right now. But that's about Michael, about the band itself, the Symphony X. Uh, it has been founded in 1994. The band it has done nine albums, and they are active till today. Like like I said, nevertheless, the Romeo has his own own solo albums and it is progressive band but let's say the romeo is bringing these neoclassic elements to the, the sound of playing 
by himself. And also the bands have some kind of theatrical or cinematic elements. And that's, to be honest, is something what I don't like. Like I said uh, at the Night Twist, Night Twist itself, it's insanely good band. I like it a lot. But like I said many times, uh, the theatrical element is something what I don't like. And it's the same on this Symphony X. But that's about it. Uh, the song what we are going to listen from the Symphony X is When All Is Lost. And this is the live from a Quebec uh, from 2000. 22. So this is about one and a half years ago performance. So this is relatively new. Let's let's check this out.
uh, I stop it there, there for a while. Uh, I didn't remember how, how slow tempo this this uh, this song was. Uh, the Symphony X has a lot of different kind of songs in, in structural wise and uh, tempo wise, if I may say so that that way. Uh, and I didn't remember that this is slow tempo, that, but that doesn't mean that this is bad. Uh, and also this was a little bit bad selection for the introduction the Romeo skills or something like that. He's uh, just warming up right now, but still uh, there would be uh, better examples for the uh, Romeo skills. But let's hear how, how the Romeo is continue in, in this point. Symphony X. Uh, like I said in the middle of the song, that this wasn't a good song to present uh, Michael Romeo skills, uh, and it, it, this song was a little bit slow in the facing. 
but in general I, I like this a lot because it, it has more soul in, in this this song and, and it brings more feelings. I mean, uh, in general, when, when I'm losing the Guitar Heroes bands and so on, like I said, uh, Angelo Petio and the earlier, and, and if I'm listening to those kind of songs, what he's performing uh, by himself, or he has some kind of studio band, something like that, and it's polished it, or it brings out on the on the front the things what the Guitar Hero is doing, uh, Jungi Mumsten is a good example of this. Uh, the whole thing is around the things what the, the, this hero is doing with the, his guitar. And uh, it trips off all the, well, not the all, but uh, most of the feelings what the songs could be bringing. What, what kind of message it it's brings and uh, what kind of nuances and levels songs have. Uh, I have been said many times that uh, to me, best Yngwie Malmsteen's uh, albums are the, the Odyssey album, which has the other band members too, not, not just the Yngwie Malmsteen. And that's the reason why the, all the uh, songs at that album is so freaking good. It's just not the Yngwie Malmsteen, but it's, it's a whole band. And when the whole band is included, a lot of good other musicians the outcome is insanely good. Uh, but the, when the, we are listening just to Yngwie Malmsteen, it it's, might be the same as I'm just listening he's playing alone. And that's some point of view, it's okay, but it's get very bored, boring very fast. And same goes to this Symphony X song, When All Is Lost. Uh, this isn't performed as the point of view just how the Romeo is playing. He's just adding one part to the whole song, which included other parts, which are bring it by the other band members. And the whole thing, the summarizing, is sounds very good. I, I like it a lot. And that's the reason why I choose this, this song. And this isn't that new. This is from 2007 or something like that. Uh, 15 years old. Oh. Or was it 2011? 20 years old, roughly, something like that. Yeah, no, 10 years. I can't do math anymore. <laughs> but not, not the newest one. That, that's the point. Uh, but I like it. The whole thing, the whole throw, whole uh, the song, what it brings, what kind of feelings, and what kind I can pinpoint out there. The Romeo sing, uh, playing, the Russell singing. Uh, and the other band members' uh, performance, it, it brings the whole whole package, and that's that's freaking good. I, I like it a lot, and that's the reason why I have listened to Symphony X in, in some point of view pretty much before I just jump into another another thing. But now and then I'm I'm listening to Symphony X, and uh, like I said earlier, if you want to see how good uh, the Michael Romeo is playing. Uh, I will put a couple of links to my description and there you can find the links for the, uh, the his latest solo albums where he's uh, breaking down some of these guitar parts that he's playing and, and that's, that's something what I'm, I'm now and then watching those and he is insanely good in those, those shredding things. Uh, please leave a comment what you think about this this song and band itself and this video all the feeds that are, are welcome and also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do so and support things what i'm doing in that way and also you get noticed when when i'm uploading a new videos on the channel ah but in this point i thank you for watching until next time bye thanks for watching Subscribe for more videos and don't forget to press like button and share.